And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about the need for additional safety standards for limousines. My guest this segment is Alan Corbett, a member of the State Senate representing Alameda and Santa Clara counties. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Steve. This legislation clearly was prompted by, I guess, a series, it seems like a series, of two really horrific accidents. And, yes. Uh, recently in May, there was a limousine fire and five uh, young women died and yes. in June there was another limousine fire and nine escaped but it was yes. a close call and I guess throughout the investigation you found out that mostly limousines are unregulated. Well what we found is that uh, there there are some regulations but in this terrible tragedy I believe could have been averted if the passengers had an opportunity to escape the vehicle. The CHP report was finalized on Monday and it bears out the fact that these individuals who were trapped in the back compartment could not exit because the fire was at the door. So clearly in that small passenger compartment there needs to be additional exits so someone has a fighting chance of getting out in the event of a fire. So the legislation that I have introduced would require that there be doors at opposite ends of the compartment and there would also be push out windows on opposite sides of the compartment. And uh, the report does show that uh, the individuals that did survive, five perished, four escaped, but their only way of escape was through that very small window in the partition between the driver's compartment area and where the passengers were. Right. So, so apparently, the, I mean, the driver of this limo was not at fault and is not going to be cited. The yes. limousine company is not going to be cited either, although I guess you could make a case that the limousine should companies should be responsible for maintaining their vehicles. Yes, I don't know what the final outcome will be to ensure that uh, there is relief and justice, but the report did show that the driver was not at fault. But the report also did show that there was a problem with the weld in the vehicle and that the fire came up through the seat and then the passengers had no way of exiting in time as the fire spread. And your legislation is sailing through, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's gotten support uh, throughout the process, and I believe that it will pass as well um, out of the, um, the assembly floor very soon. Let me ask you a question. A federal law says that you cannot impose, a state cannot impose or enact vehicle safety standards that are in conflict with federal law. Yes. Was that a problem for you? I this? don't think that is going to be a problem because the standards, you know, are different depending on the type of vehicle. This is sort of an interesting situation because these limousines are usually after market modified, so there are regulations that apply to, you know, um, manufactured vehicles, and then this is, would be an aftermarket situation. And I think your bill also includes uh, safety instruction for yes. passengers. Yes, very important. Would require that before the passengers leave uh, in the vehicle that they would be given safety information, how to escape, what to do in the event of a fire, the sorts of instructions that you're given when you are on an airplane or another common carrier. So this would go a long way to help people understand if in fact there is a, you know, a, an emergency, they know what to do. Right. Well, these two recent incidences are, are just incidents are just uh, very, very tragic, yes. especially that one on the San Mateo Hayward Bridge. Yes. And uh, so I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to some some sort of new new action to try to prevent it. Yes, so. absolutely. And today we actually asked the uh, state auditor to perform an audit to determine whether funds that are received by the PUC are used appropriately as well. All right. Well, we're out of time, but Senator Corbett, thank you very much for coming by. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Steve. And, and thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. We'll see you next time.